ever wish you could control your entire tech universe with just a glance? Imagine a dashboard that turns your home lab into a symphony of efficiency. Get ready to revolutionize your digital domain because your dream home lab dashboard is just a click away. Hello everyone, this is Asim from Skills Build Training and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. In today's video, I will demonstrate you on how to build an awesome home lab dashboard. So let's get started. First thing first, what is a home lab dashboard? In simple terms, it is a centralized platform that allows you to monitor and manage various aspects of your home lab setup. Whether you are into home automation, networking, or experimenting with different technologies, a home lab dashboard provides a unified interface for control and visibility. So what components make up home lab? Well, it can vary, but typically, you will find modules for monitoring server performance, network statistics, home automation devices, and even security cameras. Essentially, it's a one-stop shop for all the data and controls you need for your tech playground at home. Now let's talk about why you might want to invest your time and effort into setting up a home lab dashboard. The benefits are numerous. For starters, it gives you a real-time overview of what is happening in your home lab, whether it's a checking, server health, bandwidth usage, or the status of your smart devices. It's all there at your fingertips. One of the coolest aspects of a home lab dashboard is the ability to personalize and automate. You can customize the layout to display the information that matters most to you. An easy and simple dashboard which you can spin up in a few minutes and will be dashingly dashy. Yes, I'm actually talking about Dashy, an open source dashboard design with amazing features and is easily customizable. Dashy is an open source environment which enables you to customize the dashboard according to requirement. Dashy is a ready to use dashboard design and you can access it by visiting the homepage dashy.to. As you can see in the home page, it says that Dashi is an open source, highly customizable, easy to use, privacy respecting dashboard app. It is a full of features to help you build your perfect dashboard including status checks, keyboard shortcuts, dynamic widgets, auto-fetched icons with Fort Awesome Sport, built-in authentication, tons of themes, and interactive config editor which means that I don't need to redeploy docker container every time I make a change. And this is really awesome. All code is free and open source. If you need any help in the form of coding, documentation is comprehensive enough to get you through the problem. The solution is totally open source and in order to change the icons and all other widgets, you need a Docker environment. Let's dive into deploying the Dashi in Docker container. Getting started with Dashi is very easy. We just need to start it with the link of getting started on the home page and follow along. Since I am using Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version in virtual machine environment, so I will pull down the Docker image in Ubuntu distribution using the get started documentation. As you can see in the command, first line is pulling the Docker and then in the second line, ports are being assigned. In the third line, configuration file is initialized and then the name and then the restart protocol and then the latest version of Dashi. What we will do is that we can copy the command in a text file and then we will edit it by removing this configuration command. If you have any docker configuration file, you can replace this section of command with the correct path of your configuration file. Otherwise, remove it and when you will pull down the docker image, it will automatically create a configuration file. Then you can customize name of image on your system and yes, you are good to go. Copy the command and open the terminal and paste it. If you are using Windows, then you need to open PowerShell. But since I am using Ubuntu, so I will open the terminal using Control alt 
T. Now I will copy it and execute the command and you can see a docker image is being pulled down in my virtual machine. As soon the image is pulled, it will spin up the dashy dashboard. We can always check how many of docker images are running. So we will run the command docker ps. Now we have these images which are running and you can see the dashy and you can always look at the date it is created. Now we need to browse the 8080 port of docker container. Since the docker image is pulled correctly and it can be connected to any of the web application. You can navigate to required web application with which you have connected your dashboard. Now I will demonstrate you with the help of a demo that how to customize your dashboard. You can see there are different icons on the dashboard and this is the title and you can customize each and everything here. Here is the title of this dashboard and there are additional external links such as github, documentation and different sections like media and entertainment, networking and then monitoring sessions. These are all part of your dashboard and you can edit theme from all these options just like this. And then you can change the layout with the snips of your play. You can edit and customize this dashboard by clicking on this pencil icon and you will enter in the edit mode. In this mode, you can add it, remove and customize the sections. Right click on any of the section and you can see these options of open section, edit and remove. You can click on open section to enter into the edit mode of the section and can customize the name of section, categorize it and edit items in the section and can add or remove any of the item just like this. You can also remove the whole section by clicking on this remove option. You can add a new item in any of the section of your dashboard. Click on add new item and you need to enter the details of your item. First of all, you need to give a name to this item and then you can add the description of the item. Then you can add icon by uploading any image and then you can define further actions and add the link to it. Now we will talk about the icons of the item. You can go to the home page of Dashi and then you can scroll down to icons, select its feature documentation. Now you can select home lab icons and there is a repository of icons which allows you to add creative and good icons for your items. For that you can open the repository through this link. This is a github repository and you can use this repository to add these icons to your dashboard. You need to open the icon and copy the address of your concerned icon just like this and paste it on your add new icon menu. So in this way you can add new item with a very attractive and creative icon and you can also add any other icon of your own choice. Look at your dashboard now. How professional and how concisely it can show the chaotic information of your home lab dashboard screen. This is a really quick and easy addition of icons of your choice to your dashboard from Dashi's own library. However, you can use any other sources of library with .png format images as icons. This is wholly you can practice around with your demo dashboard which is available on Dashi website homepage. Now you can practice and test the different looks of your theme. You can change the layouts and configure your dashboard. You can also navigate to this option to switch to different layout of icons and then this icon enables you how you can configure this dashboard. You have multiple options to open and configure as per your requirement. After making changes to your dashboard, there is an option of saving your dashboard at the bottom. It gives you two options. One is to save your dashboard locally or save on the device. Saving locally means that you will save the settings of this dashboard for your current system only. But if you save it on your disk, it will save this configuration file in your project directory on your machine. So if you want to save this dashboard to be deployed on any other system, you need to select save to disk option. You can make a new dashboard, add new field and looks within no time 
with the help of this dashi dashboard customize it for finite number of times and guess what you don't need to return the docker container again and again after every edit so now if you want to go with more and more projects you want to have summary of each and every resource home lab dashboard have enabled you to keep track of all the chaotic information on one screen dashi has made your ideas and creativity easy to incorporate into your dashboard i hope this video has made your workstation more dashing and beautiful thank you for watching this video for more such informative and tech savvy content subscribe this channel